Hey guys, there's Invisible Joan over here, and today we're going to be talking about the Lizard Man. Because the Lizard Man's ability has just been leaked by NetEase on their Weibo today, and here I'm going to translate the text for you guys, and I'm going to discuss about like what I think uh, is about the Lizard Man and how I think he's going to be used. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy. And here's the translation now. Okay. Its external trait is called Cursed Body, and after transformation, Lucino's body is pretty powerful, and he can pretty much jump around a lot, so his, his, his ability is based on jumping, and every time he jumps, he'll consume stamina. But he can also do a double jump and a triple jump, and that will be mentioned later. And But when doing a double jump and a triple jump, it would consume less stamina, and the stamina would be slowly recovered in time. So. In the beginning, Lucino can do a double jump, and when he gets to a certain height when jumping, by using the skill button, he will slowly land vertically. But one thing to, to take note of is that if he bumps into an obstacle when jumping, he will fall off. And for his level 1 ability, like the difference is that this time Lucino will land faster, because in the beginning he will only land pretty slow, but in level 1, Lucini would land, land very fast, and when la landing, he, he can do two, achieve two things. One thing is that he can damage the survivor that is closest to, his, to, his, like, closest to him when landing up to a certain area. And the other thing is that he can also trample pallets in the landing area. And this is pretty interesting because I wonder if he can trample pallets that have not been used yet. If he can trample pallets that have not been used, then this is a huge game changing, like a huge game changer because then you can like pre-plan, pre-plan in advance. But I highly doubt he can. But like we'll have to wait, wait till he comes up before we can see anything. And his level two ability is called Basilisk, and pretty much there's only two differences: is that he can do a triple jump, and his landing speed will be even more faster. And I think that, like based on reading on this ability, I think while he jump, he can, like he can jump forward to, like quite some distance while jumping, because otherwise there would not be like a double jump and triple jump. So this is a hunter with strong, like with kind of strong hunting abilities, because I would assume the double jump and triple jump is used to close long distance between himself and the survivors. Otherwise, like. There won't be a, the basilisk where he can triple jump. So this is going to be a strong, strong chasing hunter, and that can cover up a lot, a lot of distance. So I, I actually cannot wait to see him come up because he is actually pretty straightforward when reading it. Like there have been a barrage of pretty complicated hunters like Joseph, and then even more complicated Max I and a uh, Dream Witch. And for Axe Boy, even though it's not complicated, his ability was pretty hard to understand in the beginning. But Lizard Man is pretty straightforward, and he looks like that he can he can hunt down survivors pretty fast. But like reading this, I think that he will actually have a pretty hard time in Mac in like uh, the White Street Asylum because White Street Asylum is like all walls everywhere. But like Witch Street Asylum will not come out in ranks, so, so Lizard Man can still be used in rank a lot. And yeah, again, I cannot wait to see him come out because his design is cool, his ability looks cool, and it's pretty straightforward. And I cannot wait to play him. So hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you on the next video. See ya.